This was almost a fait accompli, as we mentioned, after the Yankees got swept by the Red Sox four games at Fenway Park. So the Yankees now officially know that their path to the playoffs and deep into the postseason is going to go through the wild card. And that's what they have to accept, and that's what they have to do. Yeah, it was pretty evident, you know, weeks ago that this was going to happen. There was going to be a day, but there's still a lot at stake out here for the Yankees and the Yankee fans. I mean, where are you going to play this wild card game? That is your race right now. You're playing against the Oakland A's, not against the Boston Red Sox. They're celebrating today much worse if they celebrate here in, in mid-October. I will tell you this. The Yankees obviously came into the season wanting to win the American League East. That's the best path to the playoffs because it doesn't all depend on just one game. But you win that one game, you're almost on equal footing again. Well, you are, and you know you're going to be the Red Sox again. So uh, you know what the mission is. You know, Paulie's right. you got to worry about the, the Oakland A's right now. They put up 21 runs tonight. Yeah. And uh, even though you've got a two-game cushion there in the loss column, they own the wild, they own the tiebreaker, the Yankees do against the A's. So, yes, it's imperative that this wild card game is at Yankee Stadium because if it's not, then, well, you're really into a crapshoot if you've got to fly out to Oakland and play that game on their home turf. And obviously a very big moment for the Yankees. Looked like they were going to uh, maybe uh, snatch this game away from the Red Sox when Stanton hits the grand slam. It turns out that it didn't matter that much, but it might matter a lot to him. Oh, it certainly does. I mean, it's part of their offense. Even though Chapman didn't throw the ball well, he's back in the lineup. Judge didn't have a big series. He's back in the lineup. 10, uh, 10 12 days from now, they might be in their you know in their fashion good and, and this team will be good again so you know there's a lot to look forward to in these last 10 days it's exciting times for yankee fans to see if they can hold on all right david we mentioned chapman was that rust that we saw today i think it was a little bit of rust i think you're going to anticipate that he looked pain-free but the fact that he had trouble with his fastball still is a bit concerning to me i mean that's something you want to see over the next 10 days that he can find the radar again and get his stuff back over the plate because you know that got out of control in a hurry and he had to start throwing slider after slider just to throw strikes and then mookie betts shot him on another slider that stayed up and hung so he needs his fastball he's a fastball pitcher he couldn't get it over tonight so that's a little concerning and finally on the red sox side you've told me this a lot paul there was a lot of pressure in 2000 to beat the mets because of the subway series but there was a lot of pressure for you guys winning 114 games in 98 if you don't win everything well, it doesn't validate it, and the Red Sox are going to feel a lot of pressure every single stop. Oh, absolutely. I, I think when you get to the playoffs, all of a sudden you're going to realize, hey, did any of that mean anything? You know, there's there's tough times in the playoff whether you win them or lose them. And, you know, an interesting thing for me to, to think about is how much time is Mookie Betts going to get off? How much time Martinez? Those guys are fighting for the MVP of the American League. How much time are they going to take off for the next 10 days? It's going to be interesting. So, Bob, the magic number is three for the Yankees to clinch a playoff spot. That will also have to include them clinching that wild card game being played here at Yankee Stadium.